Today we are going to talk about the five main dangerous kidney diseases. What are the symptoms of those kidney diseases? What are the laboratory tests we can perform for the diagnosis? Then what are the preventive measures of those kidney diseases? So everything we are going to discuss in shortly. So this one video is enough. So don't miss it. So let's get into the video. Welcome to Star Laboratory. If you are not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. As we discussed earlier, these kidney diseases should be diagnosed in their early stages. At the same time, they should be treated with the proper treatment in their early stages. If you fail to get a proper treatment, thereafter, they will lead for a dangerous disease conditions. So please be smart, be safe and save your kidneys. So if you have noted any kidney failure symptoms or kidney diseases symptoms in your body, thereafter, you should go for a medical checkup and take advices from the doctors. Then now let's see what are the 5 main dangerous kidney diseases caused to humans. So the first disease condition is the kidney failure. Due to several reasons, Kidneys stop their functions temporarily or permanently is called kidney failure. So due to the kidney failure, the urea, creatinine, uric acid and other waste components is going to be concentrated in your blood. So day by day, your blood gets dirty by these waste products. Then they will bring a neurotoxic effect. Then finally, they will lead for a complicated situations. So these type of disease conditions can be detected by several laboratory tests. For example, we can use the basic test UFR, which means urine full report. So if we take this UFR test, several uncommon abnormal cells can be presented in urine deposits. At the same time, urine albumin also can be presented in large amount. Thereafter, we can use this blood test. For example, complete blood count. So if we take this complete blood count, the hemoglobin percentage can be in lower level. At the same time, the production of red blood cells also going to be reduced than a normal range. Then we can use the RFT test which means renal function test. So this renal function test includes several analytes. For example, serum urea level, serum creatinine, uric acids, serum electrolytes and other components. So these things we have discussed in details in our STAR laboratory in the previous chapters. So if you have missed that, please visit our channel for more details. So rather than this, we can perform the ultrasound scanning technique or intravenous urograph and other special test for the detection of kidney failures. So friends, the next thing we need to know is, there are two types of kidney failures. So first one, is the acute kidney failure and the second type is the chronic kidney disease or chronic kidney failure. So the first thing we need to know about the acute kidney failure. Acute kidney failure is a sudden and onset disease condition. So this happens due to the unknown reason. The main symptoms of this acute kidney failure are one thing is the vomiting and diarrhea. Then now let's see what are the symptoms of this acute kidney failure. So the first reason is the falciparum malaria. Then the second thing is the hypertension. So due to the high blood pressure also this can happen. Then the third thing is the sepsis or blood infection. Then the fourth thing is the medication. If you consume too much of tablets in high doses, then it will lead for a kidney failure. So be smart. Don't take any medicines without the doctor's prescription. So this acute kidney failure can be cured with a successful treatment. Some patients have to undergo with the peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis. 
after a few days they can be cured but if you fail to get a proper treatment thereafter the kidneys lose their functions permanently so guys if you notice these types of symptoms appear in your body please don't be delay please meet a doctor and take advices and proper treatment from him then now let's talk about the second type the chronic kidney diseases or chronic kidney failure so this is a long period of time disease condition so here the kidneys get damages day by day due to the several reasons the main reasons are the high blood pressure and the uncontrolled diabetic conditions if you take the diabetic patients the too much of blood sugars can be presented in their blood and they are not going to be reabsorbed by the kidneys so this blood sugar is going to be elevated through urine and day by day they will damage the kidneys normally the ckd patients which means chronic kidney diseases patients will undergo the dialysis so there are two types of dialysis so first one is the hemodialysis and the second type is the peritoneal dialysis then now let's see what are the symptoms of these ckd patients so first symptom is the tiredness loss of body weight loss of appetite some patients are having the swellings around the eyes and anklets or in other body parts and nausea vomiting bubbling of urine decreasing of urine output some may having the itching shortness of breath sleeping difficulties and wake up at night to urinate we called as nocturia so commonly these types of symptoms appear in the chronic kidney disease patients then now let's see what are the main reasons for this chronic kidney diseases so first one is the diabetic and the second reason is the high blood pressure so due to these reason the patients are having the high risk for the ckd but even though you have get the diabetics if you control your diabetic conditions and if you control your high blood pressure you need not to worry about this ckd then the second common disease condition is the urinary tract infection so the word itself is giving the meaning the bacteria or fungi or other parasites have infected in your urinary tract we called as this urinary tract infection so this urinary tract infection should be treated with a short period of time if you get failed to get a proper treatment the infection can moves up to your kidneys so thereafter it will get more complicated then now let's see what are the reasons for this uti so first one is the pregnancy menopause chronic health conditions sexual activity birth control methods personal hygiene then when you wear the tight dresses for long period of time it will get the chances of having uti then now let's see what are the main symptoms of this urinary tract infections So first one you can feel the burning or irritation in your urinary tract you will feel the uncomfortable when you are urinating at the same time you will feel the difficulties when you are urinating then the third thing is the having pain in the abdominal cavity some may having the fever so if you have noted these types of symptoms in your body it will indicates you are having the urinary tract infections so without any delay you need to meet a doctor then now let's see what are the laboratory test we can perform for the detection of uti so simply we can perform the urine full report if we take this urine full report in case of urine deposits so much of pus cells red blood cells epithelial cells or bacterial cells can be appear in the urine sample then the second test is the urine culture test so this urine culture test is a special test we can perform to detect the severity of the urinary tract infection and we can detect the pathogens and this test helps to start the antibiotic therapy so this is a very useful test done in the microbiological laboratory so this urinary tract infection is very common in adults at the same time the women are having the high risk of getting this infection in some cases the urinary tract infections can be appeared in some children also 
So this is very rare, not common. So the main reason for this urinary tract infection in children is the vesicoureteral reflex. So this condition is an inherited disorders. So due to this disorders, there is a chance of having urinary tract infection in these types of children frequently. Then now let's see what's happening in this vesicoureteral reflex. If we take the normal condition, when the urine is filled with the bladder, it will pass with the urethra. But when we take this vesicoureteral reflex disorder, when the urine is filled with this bladder, it will reversely transfers into the ureter, then finally it will reach the kidneys. So this will increase the risk of infection. But this disease condition can be cured with a successful treatment. Then the next disease condition is the nephrotic syndrome. So this nephrotic syndrome is a common disease in children and not in adults. Due to the problems in nephrons, too much of proteins are going to be elevated in urine. The main symptoms of this disease condition is the edema. We can see the swellings in the eyelashes, in the legs and other body parts in small children. This disease condition can be detected easily with the UFR. So when we perform the UFR, too much of proteins in the urine sample can be detected. At the same time, we can perform the blood test also. So it is a must to take medical advices from a doctor. So this disease condition also can be cured with a successful treatment. So be smart, be safe, save your children. Then the next disease condition is the renal calculi or kidney stones. So this is also very common in nowadays. Due to the several reasons, the kidney stones can be appeared. So these stones can be appeared into several parts of this urinary system. For example, ureter, bladder and inside the kidneys and etc. Then now let's see what are the symptoms of this renal calculi. So first one is having the back pain. Then second one, you may feel the vomiting. Then the third main symptom is the excretion of blood in urine. Too much of red blood cells can be presented in the urine sample. So this thing can be detected by doing a UFR. Then now let's see what are the solutions for this renal calculi or kidney stones. So first one, if you drink plenty of water per day, it will reduce the chances of having kidney stones. Then the second thing is, please avoid of eating too much of calcium foods. So this will reduce the risk of having kidney stones. Then now let's see what are the tests we can perform for the detection of renal calculi. So first one is the UFR test. Then the second thing is the RFT test which means renal function test. Then the third thing is the ultrasonography, intravenous urogram. Then the final thing is the X-ray. So these types of laboratory tests can be used for the detection of renal calculi. Then the final disease is the beginning of prostatic hyperplasia. So this disease is very common in aged males more than 50 years. Due to aging, the prostate gland can be swelling or enlarged than the normal size. So due to the swelling of this uh, prostate gland, it will block the urethra. So due to this reason, the excretion of urine can be prevented. Then you will feel very difficulties in passing the urine. Then now let's see what are the symptoms of this beginning prosthetic hyperplasia. So first one, excretion of more amount of urine during the night time. Then the second thing is very difficult to urinating, a little by little urine can be elevated. So these are the main symptoms of these diseases. This disease condition can be detected by the ultrasonography or physical examination. So this disease condition also can be cured with a successful treatment. So guys, today we have discussed the 5 main dangerous kidney diseases, main symptoms, the laboratory test and the preventive methods and several things we have discussed. So these things are very very important, keep it in your mind. So I hope this video is very much useful to you. If you think so, Please like our video, please leave a comment and share this video to your friends. If you are not a subscriber, after watching this video, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.